One's gonna go. There's one right on the edge. There's probably two or three hundred dead walrus on like a half mile stretch of beach here. And now they're swimming 100 miles, coming to this place, climbing cliffs, and they're just exhausted and falling down and either being killed falling or just crushing each other because there's several thousand crammed onto little tiny bits of beaches. This is the sad reality of climate change. Really hard to watch and witness this. It's just... If global warming is for real, they won't put it that way, global warming happens and water rises 10 feet, this investment you made is all. Not one single investment prospectus written since 2000, this century, has alluded to global warming. For over half a century, David Attenborough has been making landmark television series. The Blue Whale! Now, the president wants to sit down with David Attenborough and discuss the future of the planet. So my, my daughters, I, I find Malia and Sasha, who's, they're 16 and 13 now, they're much more environmentally aware. They do not dispute, for example, the science around climate change. A string of hacked private emails between global climate change scientists in the US and Europe, which have cast doubts on the very science this summit is based on. The emails seem to show that some of the world's top experts decided to exclude or manipulate some research that didn't help prove global warming exists. President Obama's visit to Copenhagen at the end of the meeting instead of the beginning. The endangerment finding is the heart of the matter. And to give you an idea how gung-ho the Obama administration was on this issue, if you listen to his first inaugural speech, January 20th, 2009, it's the second substantive paragraph of the speech is about global warming after health care. Ninety days after he finished that speech, his EPA produced a preliminary finding of endangerment from carbon dioxide. Over the last 30 years, the Chukchi Sea has experienced a dramatic loss of sea ice due to climate change. USGS will attract more than 400 walrus in the Chukchi Sea, with each walrus contributing data about its movement and behavior 